Hello guys, welcome back to my uh, RCS <coughs> analysis series. Um, today we are facing Crown Clown. Um, he's he's piloting Plunder Patrol. Um, I believe this is round five. I'm pretty sure this is round five. Uh, but anyway, let's get into it, right? So I'm going to win the die roll. Feels nice. Um, so my opening hand, it's pretty good. Uh, one, one hand trap, one, uh, go second card, even though it's good going first. So like, there's a lot of utility in this hand. My opponent, he opens the cosmic, which isn't that great because I can't set tidying, but like, I'm not too worried about the rest of this. So let's get into it. <clears throat> so we're going to lead with the parlor. Dump the tidying. Striker. I don't I don't think I need to like go over like the play by this point. You've seen it. We're just gonna do we're gonna climb our way up until yeah. Nurse Effect. And get chamber, get the fusion spell, seal, striker, banish all three for tempest, not tempest, trishula, trishula, banish tempest. We're gonna get rid of uh, exoton knight. That was like the only thing in there I think mattered. And getting rid of the terraforming. Yeah. So we have droplet show. Seal. Cosmic kind of sucked, but it was fine. We're gonna hit. We're gonna get nurse, parlor, dump a tidy. And now that we have the crow, we're gonna enter battle phase. We're gonna go into Aranus and get back lore par. And then we're gonna seal. Bounce that, get Black Metal Dragon. His hand's real nice. And like, I don't know the, I didn't know the Plunder Patrol matchup. So I didn't necessarily know what I needed to hit. But, I wasn't too worried. I'm gonna banish that. And then he's gonna go for the one that banishes. And he banishes the black metal dragon. Which was funny. <laughs> he's gonna go get this trap. I guess in some ways you can say he broke the board. But he didn't really like finish it. So... gonna bring back golden yeah golden hair that's her name all right so right here I'm gonna use my show effect and the standby and he's going to chain the effect to banish and I'm going to negate and he's going to chain to destroy so by doing that he prevents the banish of his uh moork which is funny because this negates and destroy so this all this played out really nicely for me because I baited up both of his interactions um, during the standby phase before I've committed any of my normal maids effects. So, I'm going to get a hospitality for free. And then I'm going to change over. And he's going to use his effect to special summon that one. And he's going to try and summon, I believe it's the white ship. But it doesn't really matter all that much. He's going to banish Ravine. Uh, and he's going to summon that. And I'm going to Twin Triangle Climb. I'm going to Normal Nurse for Chamber. I'm going to make Uni so we can draw a card. I'm 
nothing to so we're going to spin the ship but we can't target it so we have to spin the black ship which is fine and we're going to make access code talker and we're going to pop all of his good stuff we use Hoppus hospitality bring back chamber and we're going to win the game Yep. Must be nice. <laughs> so by this point, I have a better understanding of what the deck is trying to do. And then I draw, like, pretty poorly. Which is funny. He's going to activate the field spell and pitch the cosmic. I agree with that. Cosmic's not that great. Um, Ice Dragon plus Droplet is pretty nasty. Um, and now I have two dead Nibiru. So that's not where you want to be. But I also have a real nice one for one. So, there's some things I can do. Droplet. And then the last card being Ice Dragons. It's kind of rough. So, I'm going to set one and pass. And then he draws Summon Limit, which is kind of gross. And I think from this point I just lose. Maybe? I think he might actually end up playing into this Nibiru that I have. I'm not entirely sure though. Uh, yeah, he just, he's just going to attack. And then he's going to summon out the ship that can negate, yeah. So we just we just scoop it up. And we're gonna go in the die roll. He has Ash, Droplet, and Cosmic, which is pretty good. I have Nib, Crow, and full combo. So I'm gonna banish three. And he takes the bait in ashing that. Super, super bad. Um I would probably never ash. I I would I could see ashing prosperity because it's strong, but I would never ash it if they're banishing three. Three just seems so innocuous, and it probably means they already have a good combo. I'm going to send the Crow, just because I don't think Crow's very good against this deck. But I don't think I had anything in my side deck that would that was better than Crow. So I just kept it. Exiton. Yeah, I'm going to get the Exiton again. You're going to pass, and he opens real nice. Dark Ruler no more, and Droplet. Really strong. So I get Rulered, and he's going to Almirage. So I think the main issue here with his setup is that he couldn't go anywhere. Um, it seems he drew too many go second cards. And he definitely didn't use that Ash Blossom very well. So he ended up in this position where he couldn't do anything and entering the battle phase was just kind of silly. And like, he banished Show, but that doesn't really accomplish anything this late into the game. Where I'm just going to nib the whole board and get rid of that mort. Just get rid of it. And then I'm going to... I'm just going to kill him here. I have too much ammo and... He does have the droplet though, but it's just not going to matter. Like you'll, you'll see. I'm going to summon the knock division. Unicorn, pitch the tidings, spin the ice dragons, chain the, he targeted chamber and I chained the tidying to summon it, which is like, I mean, he knew it was in the graveyard, right? So I don't know why he didn't target 
literally anything that wasn't a dragon made. But I, I mean, live and learn, right? Because he, he knew I had it. It wasn't like... He saw it in the graveyard, so... So he droplets access code talker here. Um, and I'm going to go into show. Not show, uh, airness. And then I'm going to go back into show afterwards. Uh, the drop it was real sweet there, but he just doesn't have the advantage just to hang in the game. So he draws Lancia. Lancia is not really going to help him. And while he doesn't know it, I still have the tidying. I'm sorry, I, I meant I went going to house. He banished the show. But um, the reason I went into house here is because I still have the tidying. So if he enters battle phase, this token's dead. And I, we had a little bit of technical issues, but it is it is what it is, right? <laughs> so he's going to switch to battle phase and attack. And I'm going to banish, summon nurse, nurse effects, revive parlor, parlor effect, pop the token. And that's the game. So, uh, the takeaway here is, like, my opponent just didn't, he wasn't really paying attention to, like, what the battle phase meant. And he was not keeping track of what was in my graveyard. I think he could have played around the uh, battle phase pop a little bit better if he read my cards. But he just didn't. Um, I'd like to think I had a decent understanding of what Punter Patrol can do. The problem is the deck floats, like, pretty, pretty well. So it's not, it was hard for me to like keep track of exactly what effects would lead into like him getting the the fusion or the, the, the exceed banish. Like there were a lot of cards that did things coming out of the deck because they were sent to the graveyard. Like they just float. So I didn't know, like, whereas all my, my effects are kind of like in the graveyard and like on the field, you, you know where things are coming from for the most part. A lot of this decks are in the graveyard where they set up things coming from the deck or the extra deck. So it was a bit harder for me to determine exactly what the cards did. But I think I did a pretty good job otherwise. Um, nibbing there was really strong because it got rid of the potential banish that could have caused me problems. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good evening.